Hi, you're watching Professor Plays, and today I'm playing Factorial 1.1. This build has been here for a while, and I think we're just so short on raw material that we're not getting enough red belt. I'm going to populate this with some yellow belt just to get some blue circuit production going here. There, I see blue circuit machines running. That'll give us a few blue circuits, and they're going to come down here, and they will accumulate down here. Okay, that's fine. Let's see, I've got... Let me grab some belt while I'm here. We just don't have, we just don't have any. Red, oh, let's let's boost red belt production. Uh, so the 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 store blueprint that I put down is designed for low volume, early game low volume. And I'm going to boost red belt production. So I'm just going to do that by increasing the number of uh, long-handed inserters to get more gear in there. So that'll that'll increase our uh, our red belt production. Now. You can see that the iron plate is being consumed completely. Really, that needs to be a red belt, but we don't have red belt, so let's let the bots build with those red belt for now, and then we'll we'll upgrade that in the future. Copper plates making it all the way down here. Iron plates making it all the way. Uh, red circuit is still weak because I'm assuming the raw material. Steel is weak. Let's see if we can boost steel. Did I? T I don't remember if I told if I told the bots to do some stuff with that or not. See, they're trying to upgrade all these belt to red, and it's just it's consuming everything in order to do that. Steel. So the furnaces are there. We are just not getting enough iron ore. Okay, let's um, let's see what we can do about that. You are... You are... I'm not sure what you are. Let's... Uh, you, look kind of, you look kind of incorrect. Possibly. If I could... Let's see. Steel is... There. This belt... really needs to be red all the way up. But we can't do that. I don't know. But if I do red splitters like this, like that, and I've got, what do I have? I have, I have extra stuff in my inventory. Uh, let's just have the bots get rid of it. Let's put it in my trash. So red, red, and I want to say output priority left, shift right clicked, shift left click, output priority left there, and that should give us a full red belt. Yeah, that'll boost steel. Now that may starve iron plate, I don't know. Here come the logistic bots to get the trash. Uh, that's okay. Those are backing up. We're fine there. So that'll increase steel production. Okay, that looks reasonable. How about copper? Copper mine. This is not going to last much longer. 
and we are not bringing that in by rail so I really need to set that up we had this one down here where I put a red belt the the close copper mine right here but I would really like to bring in copper by rail that's 20 million that seems like a logical choice right there and I also made this note last time I want to demo building a wall show you the blueprint that I use oh and that reminds me I'm going to want lasers to go along the wall I typically don't build walls using turrets you can you just need to belt in ammo to keep the turrets loaded if you if they're engaging the enemy but laser is nice because it just uses electricity so let's see where's my blueprint for lasers right here laser turret requires battery green circuit and steel let's see if we can find a convenient place to put this obviously downstream of batteries so batteries are where are batteries here are batteries down here what if I put it up here batteries are backed up what if I put this let's see which one of you yeah that would work right in here unless there's is there enough room to bring everything up there oh well, we can make it work Let's try that. In fact, um, 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 yeah, let's just. Well, I could bring batteries right off. I could just run batteries. How many batteries does it take for each turret? That's a good question. It requires 12 battery for each one. And battery requires. Battery crafts in four seconds. Okay, I mean, though, so we're not using them in high volume right now, and we could expand production if we needed to. So let's do that. In fact, there's battery right there where I'm standing. That's perfect. So let's do that. Which one, which one of you is battery? We'll even line you up to go straight into the laser turret production like that there we go so they'll go the priority will be for building bots and then as soon as the bots are finished with batteries they can go straight into there okay so now I just have to get steel and, oh and green circuit and wow what a coincidence look at that there's some green circuit right there can I can I can I can I go across here with the green circuit I believe I can There's a green circuit. And here's steel. Again, this will be this will give priority to the bots. But then as soon as they've used steel and they don't need any more, this will put steel into building lasers. There's steel green circuit battery. That works out perfectly. Wait, is this factorial? <laughs> Something works out perfectly. All right, and then uh, actually, I don't need to bring those down anywhere else. Let's put these into a red chest like that, and give it some power. And then well, let's put a cap on here. I don't know how big lasers stack. Let's do it like that. And that will start building us some lasers. Okay, and you are in now you have to be in rubble zone. There's a rubble port right there. And the, the chest wasn't flashing. So let's go down here, I'll show you how I build a wall. And then um, I'll also set up the copper mine down here, and that'll be a good episode if we get all that done. So let's get some uh, let's see, let me empty the inventory of junk. We'll have the, we'll have the bots do the emptying for us okay um 
I'm going to switch to Red Belt. All right, and then I want the stuff I need to set up a mine. And the bots have all the trash emptied. I could request that the bots bring it to me, but I'm close. So we have some stack inserters. Yes, we do. I want those for loading the the train cars. Speaking of train cars, I want to make sure I have train cars. I also want to make sure I have enough blue inserters. I use one, I told you, the blue inserters on one side of the uh, chests that I'm loading and the stack inserters on the other side. Let's get some more of those. Okay, let's get uh, cargo wagons. Uh, locomotives. How many locomotives do I have? I have two. That gives us four. That's plenty. Power poles. Okay, I have power poles. Red belt. Belt, belt, belt. Belt is here. If there is any. No. Okay, we might have to build the... Um, the mine with yellow belt and then upgrade later. But we can do that. Uh, train stop, rail signals, rail. Let's grab a little more rail. I have, I've got inventory space. A little more rail. All right, and mining drills. Hey, what are you up? What are you guys supposed to be? You're supposed to be all those things now that they're being built. Okay, mining drills. Okay, I've got rail, I've got mining drills, I've got steel chests, I've got uh, stack inserters, I've got some belt. I've got some power poles, I've got a locomotive, I've got cargo wagons, all right. And then I also want to demo, well, we'll need to wait on laser turrets. How far away is that? You know what I was thinking I could do? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll extend the Rubbleport coverage down here. Uh, you probably want to have Rubbleport coverage along a wall anyway. It doesn't need to be part of the main network. What I sometimes do is make a separate network and then put some red chests down there with, with wall repair items, things the bots would need to repair the wall, and then the bots can grab it out of that chest. But in this case, um, that's pretty close. I'm just going to connect it to the main network. And then I can put the blueprint down there, and then the bots will be able to build it. So let's do that. And then they can also build the, uh, the mine part of that if we need them to do that. Okay, and then we need copper un well we can work on the copper unload station um, after this is built down here. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get power down there. So our power plant's down here. It's going to need to be a rail line going down here. So that'll be to the left. All right, so let's bring power from here. Power from here. Okay, and so copper mine. Well, let's do this one horizontally because I think I'm going to load on the left. Not that it makes that much difference, but that's what I'll do.
They don't need to be lined up, by the way. It's just uh, trying to keep things neat, I guess. I probably drive some people crazy with the fact that I don't always line up the power poles. Sorry about that. I could have used a blueprint. Alright, made a blueprint of a mining operation. Wait, put the blueprint down, let the bots build it. But I haven't extended the network down here yet. I brought a lot of mining drills, but I may not have enough. This is a pretty big patch of copper. Skeleton. I wonder if I've researched that. I'll have to check and see. Uh, the exoskeleton lets you walk faster. I'll have to see if I've got that researched. Okay, so I did have enough mining drills. So this is... Well, this is just two iron. This is just two drills. Let's go this way. And then up this way, and then this way. We'll bring them to the left, put the loading station over there. using red belt there. I'll bring some more belt down. Okay, so this needs power poles. on this one because some of the power poles are lined up and some are not. I didn't think about it. Sorry. Kind of like was already into it. Placing them. Alright, so that's going to need power. So my loading station... Can 
go over here like this. Let's see, how does that lay out with... Rail's going to go... Actually, it's going to be anywhere over there. So yeah, this is anywhere over here is fine. Just leave enough room for, for a balancer. Like that. Uh, six belts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts. Seven belts. Let's do a seven to four. Like that. Turn my personal rumble port on. And they can place the splitters and undergrounds. And they're intent on doing the rail. I'll help you guys do the rail because I can probably do it faster than you. You will be Oh, you need to be copper or color. You will be copper or and you will need to be copper or color. Which is like that. Do I have Yes, I do. There's a locomotive. You can be copper or color. Here's some cargo wagons. Like that. some fuel. I don't see... unless I'm missing it. Nope, I don't have any fuel. I'll get some fuel for the train. Okay, so I need some more belt and I need some fuel for the train. So let's see, this rail line... Do I want it to go down below this point? No, not necessarily. So let's do a U-turn right here. Hurry up. There you go. So I want this to go where? I want this to go. Uh, I don't want to interfere with the nuclear power plant expansion, and that's going to be expanding to the right. So we're okay going up the left side over here. Just so I don't interfere with anything, I might as well do a left-hand turn right now. Do I have a left-hand turn? Uh, rail, 90. Doesn't need to be a circle. Here's a 90. Like that. And if I have the bots take the trees, my inventory will get filled up with wood. If I have the grenades, I'll just use them. How far over? Uh, not much farther, a little bit.
just go through all the trees like that okay and that'll be good Being mean to my bots, I'm leaving them behind. That's actually far enough, right there. So give me that, give me that uh, 90 degree turn again. Like that. Does that look okay? Yeah, that looks good. Straight up through there. Come on, bots, you're slowing me down here. I'm going to turn you off. You're interfering with my with my building. I'm holding down the right mouse button and hovering over the bot to pick it up quickly. It's kind of a cheaty way, I suppose, but you don't need to wait for them to uh, to recharge that way. Two seconds. One other two seconds. I figured out why I got off track. Ran out of fuel. You'll hit a tree at the same time. Stacker, so we need to go to the right. Like this. Like that. And you need a chain signal here, and here, and a rail signal here. And then the return trip. Well, I'll have to put the blueprint. Well, where's my blueprint? Rail blueprint. Where's the long? Like this. 
and then the return trip you will go from over there like that and you will need you will need a chain signal here and a chain signal there and a chain signal there and you will need a rail signal there and a rail signal there and a rail signal there like that okay and Okay, that will get us back to the stacker, I think. Do you have power? Yes, you do. <laughs> I don't know why we got two power poles. Worry about it later. Okay, and... I need more belt and I need some some coal or something some kind of fuel solid fuel or something that I can use to fuel the trains I'm being very careful here driving manually hey we have rocket fuel oh yeah there we go That'll fuel some trains. Okay, uh, rocket fuel, let's put you... Oh, that's fine. Okay, so I need to get some belt. The trains go faster. I think there's, yeah, I'm sure there's better, better top speed and better acceleration on rocket fuel. So do, your, so do your personal vehicles. Let's see. Um, I don't have red belt over here. Don't have any red belt being built yet. Oh, well, there's some. I see some in the chest. Oh, yeah. I will take that. I have undergrounds. I need more splitters. More splitters. I can use more power poles. More power poles. More mining drills. Do I have rubble ports? I have rubble ports. Yes, I do. Let me get a few more. Do I have inventory space? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to 
extend the rubble network. a big pole we can use the medium ones not that it makes that much difference but and then a robot robo port there and let's put a robo port down here like that I do have a blueprint by the way that's in, that includes power poles spaced out between robo ports like that that I could be using but so here's the place where I want to build the wall this is the natural narrowing between the the two bodies of water I'll show you the wall, the blueprint for wall, if I can find it here. Rail and wall. I've got several. I think I haven't deleted them. Yeah, wall with lasers uh, and teeth. This is good for now. Wall with laser. And am I lined up with the? Let's see where's the where's the narrowing here? Probably probably right there. Yeah, like that. Where did that go? Huh, that's pretty close. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I just overlap the power poles. You can see right there the power poles that are ghosted in. That's what I use kind of to align the the prints. And I, there's trees and stuff in the way, so you can hold down shift. It will place the blueprint anyway, even if there's trees in the way. And then the bots will remove the trees if it's in robo uh, coverage. If the robot uh, network uh, goes down there. So I'll just go all the way across like this. water is kind of broken up over here so we need to make sure we go all the way across so that there's no gaps in the wall or in the laser coverage like that now we're outside RoboPort zone down here but the part that is if the bots don't get yeah, there's some bots right there. If the bots don't run out of charge on their way down here, they'll build. So now the, the blueprint that I have that includes power poles, is that under my blueprints? I think it is. I don't remember to tell you the truth. Maybe I removed it. I don't know. Robo port columns. I don't want that one. 
I would like to have right here, this one, just a single column. It includes power poles. So I'm just going to use this and extend the robo network over here like that. And we'll just go all the way down to the end like that. I'm looking at the left side where the green area is. So one more like this and that will put all the wall that I pasted inside uh, the robot network. Let's do the same thing in this direction. Make sure we're we're inside the robot network over here. So let's do that. Oh yeah, and that will do it. I'm looking at the right hand edge of the wall where I just pasted it. And well, when I move it, you can't see, but if I put it back, you see the right here, you see the green line that goes right there the robot coverage area. I think that includes our um, our wall. Oh, it might just miss a little bit of it. Well, we can fix that. We can do this. We don't need the wall to go all the way over there like that. We can make the wall go like that. And now if I hover over it, yeah, so now all the walls inside the repair or build area of the robot network. So now, and they're already building it. Uh, there they go. They're already putting the lasers down. And they're putting the wall down. And if I, if I have it all in, oh, we don't, we don't have any radar down here. Let's put some radar. Let's put radar. And let's put radar here next to the big power poles. We don't need that big power pole. Let's put the radar there. I'm looking at the mini map up here to see radar coverage. Will it cover if I put it here? Yeah, I believe it will. I'll help you out here, bots. I'll do your job for you. radar and I'm just looking at the mini map again we can cover the whole thing with one more radar okay right there pole in there somewhere? Hmm. I must have missed one. Now there is. Radar spinning. That means there's power. The bots would eventually place RoboPorts here too, but by placing them manually, I'm speeding up the build wall build process because they're not going to wait for the RoboPort to be built. And we're missing a power pole somewhere. It's just a ghost, I suppose. Yeah, that one. So now that all the RoboPorts are there, the box will see the build, the missing wall, and they'll, that will be put on higher on the priority queue. So they'll come down and build. Actually, they're going to clear trees first. So you, if you clear trees manually, you'll speed things up too.
Okay, so that wall goes all the way over there. Right? You do go all the way over there, don't you? Wall? Yes. And that will all get built. So that's how I build walls. I would typically, and an outpost, of, this is close enough to extend the robo network of the main base. But if I were doing this on an outpost, if I were building like way up here, um, well, even there I might, but I would do a separate network. Just put robo ports and then put chests with supplies in it. We need power down here. Now the lasers will be powered. And that will work all the way down through there. Okay, good. Another reason to get nuclear power, by the way, is when you start using laser turrets as defenses, yeah, they can really zap the power. In fact, they use power, I think, just uh, just being there. Uh, does it show power utilization? Well, of course, they're going to be charging, but there's two two ways they use power when they're first placed. Yeah, here we go. 2.8, 3, 3 megawatts. When you first place them, they kind of get charged. They have to charge up. And then they also use power just sitting there. They use power. And then when they're firing, they use a lot of power. So you need an extra capacity if you're going to use laser turrets. You see these how slow these bots are? I don't have enough robo ports for them to go wherever they're going. They're probably, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> they're going, they're trying to go somewhere and they're running out of charge, but they'll make it. All right, let's hook up the copper mine. So did I do this right here? Uh, you're going to be, you're going to be here. The bots can finish building. Is that right? That one goes there, that one goes there, yep. You go there. You go there. You go here. You go here. Boy, that was close, wasn't it? Oops. Like, no room to spare. It's like I planned it that way. And you go here. Is everybody drilling? Let's see. Well, they won't be because the belt is backed up, but everybody looks like they have power and belts. All right, so then this can go here. And this can go here. And then here. There's copper ore, fuel for the train. Fuel for the train. There we go, some solid fuel. That goes in the train. Okay, program. Copper ore load one, full cargo. Copper ore unload, empty cargo. Go to unload. Did I put radar there? Yes, I did. Did I put radar here? Yes, I did.
you are unloading. That looks correct. And you need to go... Where? You need to go... You are unloading here. And, oh, that's pretty convenient, isn't it? Uh, you need to go basically straight up and then turn to the right. Okay, that we can do. If I put red here, how far can you go? Of course, not quite. Let's do this. Let's do, let's do this like that and then like this. Like that, and then we could do red belt here, and there's two smelting lines here, and I want, oops, I don't want the radar in that. C, copy, but don't get the radar, and then you can go, you can go there, like that, and then you, you will go like that, and then you will go like that. That'll be coal. And that's coal, and coal's coming down there. And then... Copper. So these are copper. Let's divert you up this way. Like that. And let's do like that.
Okay, that'll put stone back where it was. This will be iron ore going back where it was going. I broke power somewhere. Okay, that'll put power back over there. Oh, I'm going over time. Darn, I wasn't watching. Okay. I'm going to have to edit this episode uh, to get it under an hour. So I will edit a little bit. But let me finish hooking up here. So if you're watching this, you know I've edited it a little bit, but I'll try to make it a clean edit. So let's see. Um, you can go... You need to go here and here. Okay, that'll put copper there, there, up to there, and then I'll tap into the, and I'll route it over to the, to this melting next time. I've already gone over my time, like I said, I'll edit a, a couple minutes out, you won't be noticeable, but I've told you, so now you'll know. But thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you would click that thumbs up. You can leave comments or questions, or you can leave questions or comments in the comment area, and I'll attempt to answer them if I can. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.